Hey everybody, it's Chris and Des Show. I'm Chris. And I'm Des. And today we're going to talk to you about the sequel to Knives Out called Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery. Starring Daniel Craig and then a bunch of new people. <laughs> <laughs> or old people. <laughs> <laughs> new to the Knives Out Mystery. Oh, yes. Is what I meant. Sure, yeah, but, sure. but you know them all. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay, so. What do you think? Sorry. It's really okay. This movie is... The only thing that relates it to Knives Out is Daniel Craig. Yes. Right? Like, it's a whole new thing. So you could totally come see this movie without having seen yes, Knives good point. Out. So it's not anything that you need to have seen both. It's not that. Right. So you can just... The only thing that having seen Knives Out, it helps you just know Daniel Craig's character. But right. you're going to figure that out pretty quick because you're a smart person. He's a detective with an accent. Exactly. Go. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, this movie is kind of, like you were saying, it's an Elon Musk kind of <laughs> burn. That's what, that's what everyone's saying about where it. The, where, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Edward Norton. Edward Norton is that character, and so he's a multi cajillionaire and he's got this this island, and he's inviting all his friends onto the island to have a murder mystery, and then chaos ensues, and so that's the that's the story, that's the premise, and it's what it is. What Knives Out started to be is just this huge ensemble movie of great actors. And that's just what this is, the same thing. It's just getting everybody together that you can, cameos all over the place, people that haven't been advertised come out of the woodwork in this movie, and it's so fun, and that part makes Super it fun. fun. And uh, the person, oh wait, go oh, back to the right people. Where's, um, what's her name, Kate Hudson. Is so hilarious. I really liked her in this one. But that there's all this crazy stuff. I loved it. It's one of those you can just have fun. It's the same energy from Knives Out and it's worth seeing. Yeah. Just that funness of it is worth seeing. And all the cameos and all the stuff. And it's a well told story in that really well it told it doesn't you, it's hard to predict because you know they reveal new things mm-hmm. along the way. So it's really interesting in how they tell the story. And I recommend it. And what did you think, Christopher? Yeah, I loved it. I liked it even more than Knives Out, actually. Yeah, I think I, I did, too. really enjoyed it. I was like, I like this movie a lot. It might be one of my top movies of the year. I really enjoyed it. Um, I will say, I had the same problem. Des and I have talked about this before when we saw Dune. But once you're in a Marvel movie, I just have a hard time. I'm always like, oh, no, Agatha is chasing Drax. <laughs> Drax, don't. Agatha's by my call them by, their name, by their Marvel names instead of. Wait, he's not Drax in this movie, and she's not Agatha. She's Wait, not a, Agatha. give me a second. <laughs> and then, of course, there's the Hulk. There's, there's Edward Norton, the Hulk, and it. Like, wait, they're actual people. <laughs> Hold on, I forgot they're about it. They're not just Marvel characters. Um, But it is funny. But uh, I love her. In the Daniel movie. Craig is, I really, I just like him in this character. He could play this character till the cows come home. Because he's so they smart. They can keep he's making so these movies. He's so smart in this movie. And who, uh, Ryan Johnson, who is, the, who is the writer and director and creator of oh, these movies. He's great. Man, he is so smart. First of all, I loved his other movies like Looper, Star oh, Wars, yeah. The Last Jedi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, all those movies that he directed. He's so talented. Um, but he's just a smart guy. And he knows how to make a movie that you want to enjoy. It's so enjoyable. Um, it's smart and enjoyable at the same time. And a lot of times when something people. is... Trying to be super smart, it does not become enjoyable. Uh, and the whole cast is fantastic. This is such great actors. I, w- I do want to say, Janelle Monet is such a good actress. She was a singer at first, you know, when she came out of the scene, and some people gave her that. But I, d- I remember we watched Moonlight, and I was like, Des, Ooh, yeah. Janelle Monet. And then we saw Hidden Figures, and it's like, Des, <laughs> Janelle Monet. Uh, and the same thing here. That girl is yeah. a good actress. No, and in this great. movie, especially with all the twists and turns, you're like, well, oh. and she's a, she's a main character in this oh. movie. She's, that might, no. Yeah. She's a main character, and she does the whole shebang. She's so good. She's really good. And everybody, yeah, there's so many people in it as well, too. So it was just a really enjoyable murder mystery. And he, Des is right. It, was, it wasn't one of those murder mysteries where you're like, first five minutes, like, it was him. Yeah. No. <laughs> it was like, oh, oh, okay. And it keeps twisting all the way mm-hmm. through it, which is, that's how... You uh, want to murder a Oh, sorry. Siri's upset. <laughs> uh, but I uh, I just really enjoyed it. Go see it. Actually, on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Yeah. Um, and let us know what 
what you thought and if you liked Absolutely. it and how you feel about the Knives Out series and there's going to be another one right they're things. just going to keep doing yeah, them they should, please right? do for sure um, yeah and let us know and like and subscribe and all the things bye bye